Hey y'all, welcome to Bee's Intuition. I'm Bee, and I'm here to do a general collective energy message. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I do cuss and I do tell the truth, so if you don't like either one of the two, then you probably should move on. Spirit, I ask that you allow me to channel the message that you have for myself and the collective. If there is any negative energy around me, I ask that you remove it. If there is any black magic or spells coming my way or the collective's way, I ask that you block them. We thank you and we love you. All right, y'all. So we're just going to hop in and get this message. Hope you guys are having a blessed day. Hope everything is going good for you in your life. Hope your children are, are healthy. And I hope that you are healthy as well. So with that being said, let's go ahead and hop in. Spirit, allow me to channel the message. So we have get more information. Abundance. And improving health. So for some of you, your children could have possibly been sick. That's why I said I hope you're kids are are healthy so with that being said i do feel like that for some of you if your children you know were sick i do feel like that their health is going to improve um but we have get more information we have abundance and we have improving health and then at the bottom of the deck we have take action Spirit wise, get more information here. We'll get some more information about some type of victory and success. Um, this is a number six card, so this could be about a past situation. This could be about a past person. So, you know, maybe Spirit wants you to get more information about someone um, from your past that is trying to have victory and success with you. Why is abundance here, Spirit? Suffering in silence. And it is the number nine card. So, I do feel like that Spirit is telling you to get more information. I do feel like that there is someone from your past who possibly see that you, you know, are having victory and success. And they possibly want to come back towards you. Because of your abundance because they see that you're victorious and successful and whoever this is I do feel like that you ended it with this person because this is a number nine card I do feel like that you know they are suffering in silence and when it comes to this improving health yeah this is a number eight card and I feel like yeah you your health definitely is improving um, for those of you you know that uh, we're having health issues but I'm also getting to um, you know that you have created a balance by, you know, trusting in, in spirit, by relying on spirit. And I do feel like because of that, that's why your health has improved. And that's why you're basically moving forward really quickly. Mm -hmm. Harmony at the bottom of the deck. I do feel like whoever this is is suffering in silence and they do want to improve, you know, their health. I do feel like whoever this is when it comes to improving health, I feel like it's mental health. Um, I do feel like that whoever this is, you know, they do see that you created a balance because you basically stayed on your spiritual journey on the path that you're on. And whoever this is, they see that you're you've improved in all aspects of your life and they see that you've done it very, 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 very quickly. Whoever this is. And so with that being said, I do feel like that there is a past person, you know, that is coming back your way. Because they see that you have victory and success. And so they're basically just seeing the abundance. Because their abundance possibly has ended and they're suffering in silence now. And so they want to improve and so they have their eye on you. And they feel like that, you know, if 
they can create some type of balance with you, then, you know, their mental health can improve rapidly. You know, their finances can improve rapidly, whoever this is. Hold on, because these aren't the cards that I want to use. What do I need to use, Spirit? Okay. Yeah. Five of Pentacles. So whoever this is, yeah. Five of Pentacles. They're hungry, stinking, and starving. I do feel like that whoever this is, you know, they feel like you're being cold towards them. Um, but I do feel like that whoever this is, they possibly have gotten some new idea or, you know, they basically, you know, are out in the cold and, you know, they basically have gotten some information that you are doing good in your life. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. For some of you, this whoever this is, they do have some type of information that they want that they want to share with you because they've been holding on to whatever this information is for a while. King of Pentacles. It possibly is about some money. Or it's possibly, you know, something that they're going to try to prove to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is about some money. But for some of you, you know, whoever this is, they thought that they were going to get some type of money somewhere else. And they didn't. And that's why they're in the Five of Pentacles energy. Get, a, get more information. Mm, seven of Swords. So, for some of you, you do need to get some, some information about someone possibly stealing behind your back. Or just, you know, doing some deceitful things to you behind, behind the scenes. Whoever this is, it is a past person. Or it's someone that is attached to, a past per, to your past person. But whoever this is, they're trying to get victory and success. Mm -hmm. Justice, yeah. They're trying to call in justice for themselves. But I feel like that you're getting ready to get some, some, some information about someone trying to steal from you. This is a past person. They're trying to get victory and success. And I do feel like with this justice here, you know, justice is going to be served on your behalf. But I do feel like that this is, you know, the justice system. So I do feel like that the court officials or whoever it is that needs to know, they do know. And so with this abundance here, I do feel like that you are going to be receiving some type of abundance if that is the case. Mm -hmm. The world in reverse. Yeah. For some of you, you know, this person, they were doing deceitful things behind the scenes. They possibly could have stole from you. But I do feel like that they possibly now want to, you know, speak some type of truth. They want to bring, you know, equality to the situation ship between you and them. Um, but I feel like it is because they see your abundance. Whoever this is, you know, um, they didn't, they don't, they didn't want to, they don't want to end, you know, them being in the world. But at the same time, they didn't want whatever you guys had between the two of you to end as well. But it did. Either way, either way it goes, I do feel like that whoever this is, they possibly, you know, um, are realizing that, you know, justice is being served on your behalf because you're not in the world anymore. You've released all that toxic and negative energy, and that's why, you know, you're having victory and success, especially when it comes to your abundance. And whoever this is, they're realizing that basically after you ended it with them, that's when you released, you know, the negative toxic things. And, and that's when, you know, your abundance starting to started to grow. You know, your health started to improve. And whoever this is, they're suffering in silence. Mm -hmm. They're suffering in silence because they're, they're realizing that they should have, you know, basically changed their toxic ways. They should have gotten on their spiritual journey and did the work. Um, but they're suffering in silence. And I do feel like whoever this is, you know, they're being taught some type of lesson, some type of spiritual lesson. Improving health. Yeah, four of pentacles. And so I do feel like that whoever this is, they basically are remembering something that you told them, you know, about spirituality, you know, about God, the universe, and everything like that. And I do feel like that they are holding on to whatever you said. But I do feel like because they see that, you know, everything is improving 
in your life and that basically you have created, you know, balance in all areas of your life and that basically you are focused on the prize, which is God, and you're moving forward, whoever this is, you know, they're basically still holding on to you. This is a spiritual connection that you have with whoever this person is. Mm hmm Yeah, and I do feel like whoever this is, they're suffering in silence because they know that they need to learn the spiritual lesson, but they're still in, still holding on to some type of family, and it's and it's chaos happening in pandemonium. Mm -hmm. Whoever this is, they do want to improve, you know, their mental health. You know, they want to improve their life. Period, um, because they see that you know, basically they see they have their eye on you, and again, they feel like that, you know. They can create a balance with you, you know, holding on to you and creating a balance with you will make their life better or make their life, you know, move a little bit faster. But whoever this is, I do feel like that they possibly, you know, are um, dealing with a lot of chaos, happening and pandemonium. And I do feel like that um, whoever this is, they possibly were trying to hold on to you and it created some type of conflict. Spirit put one on this seven of uh, swords. Mm -hmm. Yeah, victory and success. Victory and success. So yeah, get more information because whoever this is, you know, they possibly are going to try to come towards you in the seven of swords energy just to get victory and success. Whoever this is, it is a past person and that's exactly what they want is victory and success. For some of you, you know, they are dealing with a court situation ship. And they are ending, you know, something, you know, that they were in, they were in. So I don't know if it's, you know, just a court situation or if they were married and things of that nature. This person does know that they were deceitful, you know, when they told you, you know, about this or, or if they told you about this legal situation, it wasn't the whole truth. For some of you, they didn't tell you about this legal situation, but they are ending it because they have possibly learned their lesson. But at the same time, whoever this is, they're still holding on to this, whatever it is that's causing chaos, happening and pandemonium in their life. But they do want to have success and victory with you. But I do feel like there is some type of legal situation that is coming to an end. The world in reverse. Page of Cups in reverse. So yeah, so whoever this is, they do want victory and success with you. And I do feel like for some of you, this person is going through a transformation. You know, I, I feel like that they are ending things that don't serve their highest good. They're getting out of the world, you know, doing worldly things. And they're growing up, you know, page of cups. And I feel like that they are going through a transformation. And it is because, you know, there is a divine intervention. The Hierophant is here. And I feel like it's because they know in order for them to have victory and success, in order for them to accelerate fast in their life, positively, you know, they have to change their toxic ways. They have to grow up. The Hierophant. Yeah. The Magician. Yeah, because they see that you're manifesting. They see that, you know, since you ended it with them, they've been suffering in silence, and you follow God's will, God's way, and you're able to manifest whatever it is that you want. And so whoever this is, they're still holding on to you, but they're also still holding on to a lot of chaos having a pandemonium. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I do feel like that whoever this is, um, you know, I do feel like that for some of you, you know, they told you in the past that they were going to end their toxic ways. Um, or in some type of marriage because we do have justice here and the Hierophant but they're still hold, holding on to that situation ship because they thought that they were going to get success and victory but they didn't mm -hmm. they didn't so whoever this is I feel like now they want to grow up and whoever this is you know they are trying to manifest you back Five of Wands. King of Wands. Yeah, they're watching you. They're watching you, but they are. They're in all type of drama. And I feel like that, you know, they basically um, have caused a lot of this uh, Five of Wands energy. But they are watching you. 
you have your back turned to this person because you feel like that they're, um, you know, going to play games. For some of you, you feel like this uh, masculine is possibly doing black magic and spells. But I do feel like wherever this masculine is, they're ready to grow up. They're ready to take action and they're ready to grow up because they're watching you and, you, and they see your life, whoever this is. They see that you're getting success and victory with this uh, six, of, six of wands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're watching you. They, they, they know that you know you basically are waiting for your ships to come in. But I feel like that whoever this is, they've been watching you for a long time. For some of you, they've been playing games for a long time. But I feel like spirit is saying get more information because some someone definitely is stealing from you in order to get success and victory, and they've been doing it for a long time. It is a past person that you possibly deem to want victory and success with, you know, in a situation ship. Whoever this is, you know, they're dealing with legal situation shit. For some of you, I mean, legal situation. For some of you, it's getting ready to end. But for others of you, you know, they're involved in some, 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 some street stuff with this death card here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like that you waited for this person for a long time. And I feel like that you waited to have victory and success with this past person for a long time. I feel like that you were waiting for this uh, person to end their legal situations. Um, but they didn't. And so I feel like that you blocked this person out. I feel like that you focused on your abundance. You ended it with this person. You know, they suffer, they're suffer. they suffering in silence. You ended your toxic ways. You grew up. They didn't. Page of Cups in reverse. Mm-hmm. And, and you possibly are going to have to stand your ground to this person because at the end of the day, I do, or, or you possibly could have already stood your ground. You could have told this person, you know, they need to end their toxic ways and grow up. And so with that being said, you're on guard. Uh, spirit is dealing with this person because I feel like whoever this is, you know, they are still living some type of toxic lifestyle with the magician here. But I feel like when it comes to, you know... Um, this Hierophant, it's giving me, you know, court energy as well. It's giving me, you know, a commitment. And so they were playing games. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Four of Cups. Yeah. So they ignored the offer that Spirit gave them or tried to give them to focus on, you know, this third party, this five of one situation ship. And so Spirit is dealing with them because this is whoever this masculine energy is, they manifested you. And then they did whatever they did behind the scenes. So it wasn't a slap in your face. It was a slap in God's face. And so whoever this is, they're going to have, have to learn their lesson. So with that being said, because everything is improving in your life quickly, 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 this person is still holding on to you. But you know that. And for some of you, it, it kind of makes, makes you mad. Yeah. And it's because you know that this person is still living a toxic life. And for some of you, you know that this person is connected to a karmic. In a karmic contract. And that's who has them all up in this five of wands energy. King of wands. Mm -hmm. And they're mad because they're not happy. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. But they're also mad because they didn't want something to be revealed. Why is the three of wands here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. King of Cups. So yeah, they were doing deceitful things behind the scenes to try to get success and victory for a long time. And you waited for this person for a long time. And so they're realizing, you know, that they messed up. They're realizing that they did treat you, you know, we have the king of queen, king and queen of cups out here. So definitely could be your match. Mm -hmm. But they're very emotional because they basically deceived the wrong person. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Two of Swords. Whoever this is, they thought you were blind. They thought you were dumb, stupid, and slow. Knight mm -hmm. of Pentacles. Yeah, they're they're emotional because, um, you know, they went back to a past person to try to get victory and success, and they got involved in some legal situationships because of of, of a of a somebody passing away. 
And I do feel like that they basically denied the truth. And I do feel like that for some of you, um, whoever this is, they possibly did did that for money. And with the two of to a sword here and knight of pentacles i do feel like they're emotional because they didn't get the payout like i said in the beginning whoever this is they did something 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 mm -hmm. seven of wands and they're emotional because all they did was uh focus on money and so whatever they did it was illegal whatever they did um but they're emotional because they didn't follow the plan they didn't follow god's will god's way mm-hmm and you do you had you did stand your ground to this person in some way, shape, form, or fashion, and whoever this is, yeah, they definitely want to you know come back your way. But again, you know they have to realize, and I and for some of you, they are realizing that they deny God, and that's why they possibly want to come back towards you. But they also want to come back towards you because they feel like that you have options, you know, love options, you know, courting options. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And whoever this is, they, they definitely do want to come back towards you because they see that you're abundant. Mm-hmm. The devil. I do feel like they're looking into ways to, you know, try to communicate with you or looking into ways to persuade you to allow them to come back towards you. Mm-hmm. Yep. Like I said, they're trying to look for ways to persuade you to come back towards you because they just want you for some of you they do want equal give and take, but for others of you they just want you to give to them financially because that's what they were getting in that karmic contract. They're they're holding on to you, um, but they're still holding on to, you know, the karmic contract that they're in because whoever this is that um they're in a karmic contract in, they basically give to them. They allow this person to have options so they have an open relationship so whoever this is they do they are emotional because they did it for money pretty much whatever they did to get them involved in this legal situation it was for money they went back to a past person for money and also because they could do whatever they wanted mm -hmm. yeah and so with that being said um, whoever this is that they're in a karmic contract with they're dealing with a lot of chaos having companionium and whoever this uh, masculine energy is, they did. They took some type of action to basically try to hold on to some information with the sun in reverse. It only caused them to suffer in silence, be unhappy. And then on top of that, they didn't want it to be revealed to you that they were ten of swords in you. Mm -hmm. But I do feel like that whoever this is, they also are... Um, emotional because they did go back towards a past person for money and because you know they could basically do whatever they want but they found out that whoever this is you know was basically doing the same thing to them and so this masculine energy got ten of wand ten ten of ten of sword ten of sorted by this karmic this third party this queen of pentacles king of cups I can't make it up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, wh and whoever this masculine is, they definitely do have an emotional attachment to this third party. So, you know, they possibly want to try... They could possibly want to communicate with you to tell you... To, to speak some truth. To tell you that they just went back to that person uh, for money or because they could do whatever they want. Well, that's just part of it. They have an emotional attachment to this third party. Knight of Pentacles... Mm -hmm. Queen of Wands so yeah yeah and yeah they do want to come back towards you because they possibly they found out that they were basically they were playing games with you they learned a spiritual lesson about playing games with you about basically slapping God in the face by not accepting the offer that God had for them because they were too focused on all these options mm -hmm. and so with that being said you know God allowed them to continue in this karmic contract, thinking that they were going to get be happy and, and fulfilled. They're not, they wasn't. And I do feel like whoever this is, you know, they, they do want equal give and take now. But they've already ten of swords you for this third 
a third party and they feel like that you know you're blocking them out from coming to offer you anything because of your confidence because of your spirituality and everything else so yeah um, when it comes to them trying to come back your way it's 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 hard it's a struggle because they know that they messed up six of swords mm -hmm. yeah yeah two of pentacles yeah they juggled you but they are also indecisive about coming towards you because possibly because they're probably still dealing with other you know some seven some of these cups yeah and if that's not the case you know they're just indecisive because you're so confident now you're so courageous and brave they've never seen you in this light before and you're not taking no losers no liars you ain't taking no L's and so they're indecisive because because they know that you are already balanced they know that you're moving accelerated motion you got your eye on the prize and they're and they're indecisive because you're an earth angel and so with that being said um they know that they can't come over her over there with that bs yeah whatever happened in this karmic contract who this masculine definitely found out about it you see the flashlight focused on the contract so whoever this third party is they did something to make this masculine want to basically leave them and come back towards you but they're indecisive if you want to create a balance with 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 them because at the end of the day they chose to basically deal with this third party um and be codependent on this uh third party yeah and so while you know they're indecisive while they try to juggle you and things of that na nature you created a balance you are going to continue to create a balance but whoever this is they're going to learn their lesson and they're going to learn it today yeah they're going through karma they're going through karma for trying to tennis sword you yeah trying to cause heartbreak mm-hmm yeah over a little bit of money over a, a teeny bit of money yeah three of cups yep and whoever this third party is yeah they're doing things behind this masculine's back while you over here just minding your own business doing your own thing and you could have possibly told this masculine that this third party was was going to do it queen of wands queen of pentacles mm-hmm so yeah, whoever this masculine is, I do feel like that for some of you, you know, they were using both of you, you and this Queen of Pentacles for money. But I feel like that you, you cut, you cut the water off a long time ago. But yeah, whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, this third party, they definitely are doing things behind the scenes. And so with that being said, now whoever this masculine is, you know, they're, they're basically indecisive now. They, they don't know what to do at this point. Yeah. They want to move forward now. They want to get away. <laughs> Two of Pentacles. I just heard Whitney Houston. I want to run to you. I ain't going to sing it. Because I can't sing, but I like to sing. But y'all know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Whitney and Bobby. Yeah, definitely a karmic contract. Yep, but yeah. They definitely found out that this uh, third party, this Queen of Pentacles, did something behind the scenes. And now they're ready to walk away. But they're indecisive because you've already walked away from them to create a balance, you know, with your own life. And, and they feel like that you have options. King of Pentacles in reverse. So for some of you, you know, they're walking away from this... Um, third party this queen of pentacles um but at the end of the day i do feel like that whoever this is you know they're indecisive because they possibly are going through a divorce but and they possibly want to marry you but they're indecisive with the king of pentacles in reverse if you even want for them to be your husband either way it goes you know the fact of the matter is they're realizing that they should have walked away they never should have went back to this person and they should have divorced this person they they realize you know that in, they should have not been playing the 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 hierophant. Thank you, spirit. They're learning spiritual lessons about playing games with a spiritual being, about 
basically not accepting the offer that spirit has for them about choosing other things besides what was in God's will. And so, yeah, they're watching you be an earth angel. They're watching you create a balance within your life. They're watching you do your thing. And whoever this is, they feel like, you know, that And for, for some of you, they've, they've lost everything, their money, everything. And so that could be another reason why they're holding on to you. Uh, it's pinnacles at the bottom of the deck. Will of Fortune in reverse. Page of Wands. So yeah, they're getting karma, and you're getting, and you're gonna get some good news. And it could be about some money, but whoever this is, they they did get a divorce. But they got some some news, some type of new news. And it caused some type of heartbreak. It possibly was about this third party, this Queen of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. For some of you, they got some good news that they basically got a divorce. And they, with this Page of Pentacles, they want to prove it to you. Because mm -hmm. they want a new beginning in love with you. But the fact of the matter is, the only reason why they're coming towards you is because of abundance. Because this third party basically tended towards them. They're not happy. They're not fulfilled. And so, you know, they basically want to bring some type of proof to you to have a new beginning in love. But the problem is, uh, they're stuck. They're stuck. Five of Swords. They're stuck for some reason. Ten of Cups. So, yeah. They're emotional because they allow this third party to do some deceitful things behind the scenes to, uh, to you, to your family, and things of that nature. Yeah, I do feel like that they feel like that you don't want to marry them because they possibly have gotten some type of information that you, you know, have a new beginning in love and, you know, you're going to start a family all over again. But I do, I, I still feel like somebody is trying to steal to have success and victory. And I do feel like that they've been doing it for a long time. And that's the reason why this masculine is very, very emotional. So it, they could have found out it was a third party. Mm -hmm. And they could have also found out that this third party, you know, has a whole nother family somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, with that being said, that's why justice is here. Um, because they are ending it with this third party. You have this person blocked out. Because you feel like that this person just wants your money. Mm -hmm. Because that's what they did in the past. Use you and this uh, Queen of Pentacles for money. Mm -hmm. But they do want to marry you. They do want a new beginning in love. They do want to marry you. But for some of you, you know, this they, they did. They juggled you and this um, Queen of Pentacles. And they decided to marry this Queen of Pentacles instead of you. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah. They don't want they don't want it to end with you, you know, but they are, you know, ending their toxic ways. They are growing up because you stood your ground to this person. I feel like that you kept it real with this person. Now that they are learning their spiritual lessons, I feel like that they do want to come back towards you, but they're indecisive because you walked away with this eight of cups. But they're walking away from this queen of pentacles that they were married to. Just one, please, Spirit. Eight of Cups. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yep, they're walking away because they received some type of information. They're not stuck anymore. They were, but they're not now. They're free to go. Mm -hmm. They've learned some, some, some information about this third party, about this marriage, about everything. Mm-hmm. And they, yeah, they're learning spiritual lessons, a lot of them, especially about investing into things that God didn't say. Whoever this is, they don't even know that they're chosen. They don't even know that they're a counterpart. Mm -hmm. They got some information. That's why they're now wanting to get, get a divorce with this King of Pentacles in reverse. Mm -hmm. And now they feel ashamed. They feel sad because, yeah, there goes a third party. 
and here goes you and them. You're still standing. They can still stand too if they if they do what they're supposed to do. God's will and God's way. And yeah, but they feel stupid. They feel ashamed now because they got some type of information. Page of Wands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, about some secrets. But I feel like they feel stupid because you got some information that they were keeping secrets. Mm -hmm. Ace of Cups. Yeah. So for some of you, they possibly got into another contract. Yeah. But for some of you, they feel stupid because they feel like that you have secrets, that you're working with somebody else. So that's why they're at a crossroads. Because you definitely did speak some type of truth to this person with the Queen of Swords. And now I can all they can do is watch you. You know, and, and basically reflect on whatever the truth that you spoke to them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you did receive some information about them be out here being a player, but I feel like that they received some information, um, you know, about you out here, you know, living your single life with the Knight of Wands. At the end of the day, you can't be a Knight of Wands. You don't have a wand. So whoever this is, they, they mad at this third party, so they're possibly trying to take it out on you. And it's because you're in the Knight of Pentacles energy. And, and that's why they're mad, too, because they invested a lot into this third party. And this third party basically betrayed them. So now they're mad, not of swords, and they do want to communicate with you. Because they possibly want to heal with you, but at the same time, whoever this is, they're hiding behind, you know, the obstacles and challenges that they created between you and them. Which has them all up in their head. They do want to offer you something with this Ace of Pentacles, but they don't have anything to offer. Five of Pentacles, because they went towards this Ten of Pentacles situation and th they thought that they were going to be victorious and successful. No. But they know. They know. They know. Emperor and the Empress. Mm -hmm. They know who you are. Yeah, and they're realizing that they got themselves stuck. They got themselves trapped because of the truth that they didn't reveal. And now they're going through a tire moment. And basically thinking about speaking some type of truth in order for them to be back with you. Mm -hmm. You are their wish fulfillment. You know, they, they do want to have sex with you as well. But I do feel like that they were operating out of pride and ego and possibly having sex with other people, you know, behind the scenes with the moon. But I do feel like whoever this is, they do see you as wish fulfillment. They do want a new beginning with you. But at the same time, they do have secrets. But they feel like you have secrets. But all I'm saying is I don't see how they worried about you. It's not a secret. It's your business. Like, I don't know what they, what, 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 what world they live in. Uh, aren't they married? Aren't they trying to get a divorce? So what does your business have to do with their, them? I don't care who you are. I don't care if you have 10 kids by this person. At the end of the day, what is it a secret? It ain't a secret. It's your business. You can do whatever you want. But I feel like that they did. They try to, you know, try to bad mouth you because they're mad at this, this third party. Really, they're mad at themselves. Because if they would have just listened to spirit, then they wouldn't be in the position that they're in. So now they're going to learn these lessons and they and they're going to either like it or love it. God don't care. You're going to like it or love it because this person is a divine counterpart. This is one of those situationships um, that spirit possibly wants you and this person to be together because you have a purpose to do on this earth together. And so whoever this is, they better they better get with the program, get with it or get lost. That's what spirit just said. Mm. And get lost. Oh, yeah, no, <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah, this is a past person that you did have harmony with, and they are definitely thinking about the past. They are reminiscing about the memories between you and them and the love that you had for them. And I do feel like whoever this is, they are facing the truth now. The universe is dealing with this person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. They're facing the truth. And I do feel like this is a spirit gather ancestor that basically is protecting you from this person. Because this person is going to learn their lessons. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and whoever the spirit guide or ancestor is, yeah, they're definitely, you know, nudging this person to change their toxic ways and to basically, you know, get on their spiritual journey. Do God's will, God's way. 
you don't want to keep learning these spiritual lessons because they're going to get harder and harder and harder. And basically, you know, the, the fact of the matter is, if this person changes their toxic ways, you know, and use the wisdom and knowledge that was already given to them, they can create their own balance. But they have to have their eye on the prize, which is the universe, which is God. But whoever this is, they are focused on you. And the universe is focused on this third party as well. Mm -hmm. Yep, the universe is dealing with this third party because whoever this third party is, I do feel like that they, you know, are trying to basically um, use some type of temptation to keep this masculine stuck. So that might be why, you know, they were in the Eight of Swords energy. Mm -hmm. But the truth is going to come out. So the third party is going to be facing the truth as well. Yeah, because whoever this masculine energy is, yeah, because they were, you know, in the, putting you in competition and conflict, chaos, havoc, and pandemonium, um, I do feel like that there has been, you know, a financial and material change in this masculine's life. And I feel like, you know, when they married, whoever they married, that's when it started to, to happen. I feel like it didn't happen until they went back to this person and married this person or whatever. Yeah. And because this person this masculine is in the five of pentacles energy, I do feel like that they are trying to create some type of balance with you. Because they see that you are positively moving forward. Mm-hmm. Yep. I can't make it up. Whoever this past person is, this third party, they are. They're trying to tempt uh, this masculine energy to basically stay stuck and so yeah this masculine you know they possibly are trying to release their fear and try to be strong and try to figure out which way to go the fact that the matter is look at those two birds I feel like they've, they've already gotten some information about which way to go I feel like that for some of you they're just fighting it and so spirit gave them a choice to choose wisely and I feel like that they're really looking back and 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 basically in that uh, five of cups energy because they didn't choose wisely, they went towards temptation. But I feel like that now they're trying to come back towards you, come back towards the light. But whoever this past person is, this third party, yeah, they are trying to tempt them to change the trajectory of their path all over again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and whoever this is, I do feel like that. Um, they possibly did get some type of some type of download. I do feel like that they did get some type of um, message from spirit that told them exactly which way to go, but they didn't listen. And so, with that being said, while this person is over here trying to choose wisely, I do feel like that you you're definitely protected. You know, when it comes to your choices, because spirit knows that you're going to choose wisely. And on top of that, you're going to go to spirit first. You're going to go to your spirit guide answers first. You're going to go in your secret place and you're going to get asked the question and you're going to get the answer. Mm -hmm. And so with that being said, whoever this is, they know that. They see that you're balanced in that way. And whoever this is, they are trapped in fear. They're trapped in fear because they can't do what you do. They went towards all these other people and, and they didn't find any of them to be like you. Yep. Yep. And so there is has there there definitely has been a change and and whoever this is they definitely are going through a lot of loss. We have five five and then five. Yep. Yep. And so yeah, all the chaos happening pandemonium that they were going through it only caused them to take to 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 have all these losses, financial and material changes, um, emotional loss, and they see that you're balanced. They see that you're positively moving forward. The problem is they've are they've created so much chaos, havoc, and pandemonium in their life that regardless if they want to positively move forward with you, they're still going to have to deal with the obstacles and challenges 
that come their way from this past person because again they they know that they should have not even went back towards this past person whoever this past person is they're going to use whatever they can you know to tempt this 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 person this masculine or feminine energy to again be indecisive about their path yeah i can't make it up whoever this past person is yeah they're going to use whatever they can to keep this masculine to them this is a number two card with them and to keep them in mental conflict from being able to make a wise decision. Mm -hmm. But I feel like whoever this masculine is, they, they are ready to be strong. They're ready to be courageous and brave and choose wisely. And I feel like that they are going to end it for good with this third party because they look at you as fulfillment. Wish fulfillment. Mm -hmm. Yep. For some of you, they have. They've been going to their secret place and they have been... Um, seeking, you know, God in, in their spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. And I do feel like that for some of you, because they did that, there possibly could be a balance be restored between you and them. But I do feel like that you've turned your back on this person. I feel like that you've emotionally withdrawn, withdrawn from this person. So for some of you, you don't know that this person is going through a transformation. And so, yeah, when it comes to them feeling like they want to create a balance between you and them, they are trapped in fear because you have turned your back on them. You have e e withdrawn your emotions from them. Mm -hmm. And they're trapped in fear because, yeah, they know that they basically sacrificed their happiness, sacrificed you for a third party. Mm -hmm. Yep. And so whoever this is, you know, they possibly are trying to, you know, get their life. But whoever this past person is, this third party, they're toxic is, is shit. And at the end of the day, they're going to keep trying to, you know, <laughs> interrupt, disrupt this masculine energy. This masculine energy, you know, they're going to have to figure out what they need to do. Um, again, they're going to have to continue, keep going within, keep going within. They can't. They can't depend on you anymore. Spirit said that ain't, ain't gonna work. They're gonna have to stand on their own too. They've been codependent long enough. Yeah. Divinely orchestrated. Yeah. Financial and material changes, emotional loss. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The thing about it is, the reason why, you know, whoever this is, is was going through so much chaos, happy and pandemonium with that third party and experiencing financial and material changes and, you know, emotional loss and things of that nature is because they had a hidden agenda. Mm hmm. They had a hidden agenda. They went back towards that person trying to um, create some type of balance with their finances or just to, you know, positively move forward. But there was a lot of competition, conflict, chaos, havoc, and pandemonium. And it created a lot of obstacles and challenges. Whoever this is, they know that you all belong together. Mm -hmm. And so does that past person, that third party. And so with that being said, because this, this person, masculine or feminine energy, went back to a past person because of temptation basically ignoring the signs ignoring you know the 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 spiritual downloads that spirit guides angels and ancestors brought to this person they found themselves in a mental conflict when it comes to you and them and yeah they are going through the dark night of the soul mm -hmm. yeah i do feel like that you know in the past this this masculine they chose Whatever they chose, whatever path they chose, it wasn't the same path that you were on. And I feel like that you ended it with them to, to fulfill your wishes. And so, yeah, with that being said, yeah, if this masculine was laughing in the past, they're definitely crying in the present. Why? Because they're going through the dark night of the soul. I do feel like that whoever this masculine is, you know, they definitely did uh, something happened behind their back. 
And so I do feel like that they are trying to get themselves together because they are emotionally withdrawn. And it, it's because for some of you that third party had uh, is pregnant. And, and DNA has determined that <laughs> either this is masculine as the father or, or they're not. The fact of the matter is this masculine sees you, you know, balanced. They're trapped in fear. They know that they sacrificed you and everything else. But I feel like the spirit is saying, you know, trust the process. Hidden agenda. They had a hidden agenda and I feel like that you know you you saw right through them you saw right through whoever this masculine energy is but they do feel like that you two belong together they could be a fire sign or they just took action you know with the past person because of temptation well they're going through the dark night of the soul now and yeah they're definitely bothered and stressed because they're realizing that you chose wisely and you're basically fulfilling your wishes and dreams. Yeah. They were laughing in the past, but they ain't laughing now, are they? Mm-hmm. Nope. And and you know why they are crying in the present? Because they're watching your, your platform, they're watching your social media, they're looking you know, they're they're finding information out. Mm-hmm. And they're realizing that you you definitely are tapped into spirit and they know why you're emotionally withdrawing from them. It's because that's how you create a balance. And they know that you're protected. Yep. And the toxic karmic energy, that third party, yeah, they are pregnant. They are pregnant. So whoever this is, if, if they're the father, that's why they're trapped in fear. Because they want to create a balance with you, but it's probably not going to happen. They already sacrificed you. The Spirit says trust the process because regardless of what's going on, they they did. They had a fake relationship with this third party. So they were just there for temptation. They were just there for money, just there for whatever they can get. Mm -hmm. Yep. But communication is coming your way, though. Because for some of you, this masculine has has made a decision. But communication is for that's for some of you. For others of you, communication is coming your way because um, whatever action this masculine took against you, they're now dealing with money issues. But we know that financial material changes. Mm -hmm. That's what the well, that's what them that's what got them bothered and stressed as well. But at the end of the day, them dealing with money issues, them going through the dark night of the soul, them having mental conflict, them taking all these losses, it was divinely orchestrated because Spirit told them a long time ago to choose wisely and they didn't. And so Spirit took you away because you are their uh, wish fulfillment. Yep. And so, yeah, they're, they were laughing in the past, but they're crying in the present because they're watching you and they, they are hearing about information about you and it's got them all up in their head. It's got them twisted. All up in their head. Keep sweat. Mm hmm Yeah. So while you're over there here minding your business, and you know, you've turned your back on this person and you've uh, released your emotions for this person. Because the fact of the matter is, for some of you, DNA has determined this toxic karmic energy just might be a family member of theirs. Mm hmm But that's not for everybody. That's for somebody, though. But yeah, they found out that this uh, the karmic, this toxic karmic third party, is pregnant. But they're also jealous of you. Mm -hmm. Yep. But spirit says trust the process. Right now, this person is 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 going through the dark night of the soul. But spirit is trying to balance this this person out. And I feel like, yeah, spirit is saying trust the process. They are in a fake relationship with a third party. And hold on, y'all. And yeah, hit the road, Jack. The third party got to go. 
communication is coming your way because they want to tell you about the third party, how the third party put on all this show and how the third party was doing this and doing that. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. And so, yeah. And then also communication is coming your way because they basically want to, you know, want you to take a bow because they know who you are. They know you are the one. But they're, they're also, you know... For some of you, they this masculine knows that you guys were supposed to be together, but they took some action to try to cause you some type of money issues. Yeah, they wanted you to live from couch to couch to couch to house. But this is past energy. But now I feel like this masculine is having money issues, and they're living couch to couch, house to house. Yeah, th it, this was divinely orchestrated because your attitude determines your altitude. So this masculine's altitude was to attitude was toxic, so they didn't go very far. Your attitude was non-toxic; it was spiritual, so you're you're very far. And so because of this masculine's attitude, it determined their altitude. Unhappy home. And so, yeah, they're watching you be happy, and they're dealing with this third party that they're unhappy with. And for some of you, this third party got pregnant by a jealous ex-lover of the third parties. Mm-hmm. Yep, they're in, they're in an unhappy home. And for some of you, this is the third party could be the fa the mother of their children and things of that nature. But they're jealous. They're jealous of you. And then on top of that, whoever this masculine energy is, they were. They were putting on a show. Take a bow. Because they were acting like they had this, that, and the third with this third party. But Spirit says, stop acting like you got it all when you don't. Right. Yeah. So now they're trapped in, they're trapped in fear because they see that you do. And, and it's not being, you know... Um, cocky it's being confident because you did you sacrificed everything um for god you trusted the process they chose a fake relationship with a third party and so for some of you spirit is saying that this person they're going to have to hit the road but for others of you they're this third party is going to have to hit the road but the fact of the matter is you kept it real and that they being mad about it and then they're also, you know, kind of trapped in fear because they can no longer be an energy vampire when it comes to you. Aww. Hold on, y'all. I'm back, y'all. Alright, let's get a couple more. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Judgment for those that try to come against you. So, if I'm pretty sure that this masculine is going through the dark night of the soul, so they're under judgment as well. Yeah, especially when it comes to your financial stability. Um, and I do feel like when it comes to, you know, this masculine's financial stability, yeah, they're going through chaos, happy, and pandemonium. Yep. And they see you winning. So with that being said, y'all, that has been the message. I hope it resonated. If it did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon.